there you go. I just took a screenshot. So as simple as this was, you can now also just as easily take screenshots with Xamarin Essentials um, of your actual screen that you're showing in your app. Uh, just one line of code basically, and you can capture an image um, envisioning like the, the thing that you see on your screen right now. Um, to be very honest, I don't, I can't come up with any real world use right now, but you know, maybe you have this requirement somewhere. Um, now you can do it. Let me show you how. If you've been watching multiple of my videos, it's not going to be a surprise that I will be using a file new application. So, um, you know, you can just go to here, Visual Studio, file, new solution. You're just going to pick a blank forms app, um, click next, do all the things, and um, you will end up with a application that looks like this uh, with a brand new template since a little while. So uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I have it running right here. So let's go uh, change this to say screenshot uh, sample. Here we go. And that should reload. Okay, uh, no need for all these labels here. So I'm just going to remove those and I'm going to add a button here and add a text which has take screenshot. And I'm also going to add a clicked event handler. So there we go. And um, I'm going to close that tag. So there we are. Now we have a button take screenshot. And to also actually uh, show that button, I'm going to add an image down here and I'm going to give that a name so we can reference it from our code behind, which is going to be our um, result image. Here we go. Um, so the one thing that I did is um, upgrade my Xamarin Essentials because if you do a file new template um, um, app, then your uh, Xamarin Essentials package at this time will go to uh, 1.5. something, and this functionality is available from 1.6.0. Uh, at the time of recording, it's in uh, pre-release, so uh, I have the pre-version installed right now. Um, there aren't any updates installed. Oh, here we go. Here's the version number. So 1.6 pre-2. Um, I'm going to use that. So it's still in preview, but you know, um, it's just a function that does one thing, take a screenshot. So I don't think there will be many bugs in here. Um, so, okay, I got my UI set up, uh, the button, the image. So let's see how we can do this from our code behind. So I'm going to go into our code behind here and we have the button clicked event handler set up. So let's catch our image in a, a variable called result. And I know it's an async uh, method. So I'm going to use async screenshot. Uh, it's not gonna know this right now, so you can, um, at the using statement here, uh, examine essentials, or you can do that using um, IntelliSense and it will add that automatically for you. So you can see the, the uh, syntax highlighting is coming up. So um, this, this is recognized now. And we can say screenshot.capture async. Uh, and the other thing that you might want to check is, um, is Capture supported? Because you know, some devices might not um, support this. And I know this feature is supported on UWP, iOS, tvOS, I think, and Android. I think none of the other uh, platforms is supported right now. Um, so, you know, before you do this, it's always good to check if this is uh, supported, yes or no, before you will crash your application on uh, taking a screenshot. Uh, so, but the thing that we're really after is uh, Capture capture async um, and it doesn't take any parameters or anything. It's just this method and it will return you a screenshot result. Um, so here we go, uh, capture async. And oh, this is giving an error because we need to make this method uh, async now too. So here we go. And uh, now we can inspect this result right here. And it has a couple of things. Um, it has the open read async, which is probably the most important one. Um, so you can actually get the stream to your actual file here, uh, but you can also inspect the width and the height of the image. So you can get some um, uh, very simple metadata from that image and see uh, what its dimensions are. Uh, but we're just going to do the open read async. Um, and you can also see that we can determine a format. So let's uh, see what that's all about. So we can specify 
specify a screenshot format between uh, JPEG and uh, PNG. So you can choose if it's going to be a PNG image or a JPEG image um, if you might have some requirement that uh, it needs to be one of both. So I'm just going to leave it for PNG. That's the default one. And I'm going to actually catch this into a uh, stream variable here. And um, I'm going to uh, make a new image source for our result image. So image.source is new image source dot uh, from, oh, then I don't need to do new. Here we go. Uh, image source from stream. There we go. And this takes a function. So we need to do uh, stream. There we go. Oh, and this needs to be awaited else we will get the task. Okay, so here we go. So this gets the actual stream and that stream goes into this uh, image source helper class to get a image source from the stream. And we assign that to the actual image. So this should actually show us the image in uh, the image um, element that is not shown on screen right now. Um, so uh, a note about the streams. So uh, this needs to be disposed. So whenever you are using this and you're done with your image, uh, uh, make sure that you dispose of your stream properly for this example this is going to be enough but uh, just a note about um, your memory management then you don't want to have these memory leaks probably in your production application so now for this let's just stop and restart our application because i made some changes in the code so we um, need to restart our app and see if all behaves correctly as we um, expect it to do. So here's our app coming up again. And now when I take uh, click the take screenshot button, then you can see the same um, yeah, screen coming up here. You can see the button is actually pressed at this time. Um, so and we have an image of, uh, you know, the actual running app. Uh, we've done that programmatically. So this allows you to take screen captures of your uh, application and um, you can do with that whatever you want after this. Well, looks like this one is a bust. I hope it went better in your application uh, taking those screenshots. Uh, actually, if you have a real life scenario where you want to use these screenshots, uh, please let me know in the comments because I'm very curious to find out. Um, also, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel. There's much more to come um, and I'll see you for my next video.